first class requirement number six. Identify or show evidence of at least 10 kinds of native plants found in your community. Whoa, I just need a second to catch my breath. You know, that's something we all have in common. Breathing, we all have to have oxygen. But without these, there wouldn't be any oxygen. Plants are the oxygen factories for our entire planet. They take in carbon dioxide through their leaves and give back that wonderful gas that keeps us all alive. So, if someone calls you a tree hugger, take it as a compliment. You know, the best way to understand the value of plants is to see what happens when they're gone. Not a pretty picture. That's because plant roots keep the soil from washing away. Leaves and grasses enrich the soil as they decay. Vegetation provides shelter and food for wildlife. Even dead trees are homes for new life. And speaking of homes, the forests house us, the fields feed us, the jungles provide medicines to keep us healthy, and plants can be fun, especially when they're smooth, green, and marked off with white lines. But hey, we're not here to praise plants, we're here to identify them. So let's get to work. You need to find 10 native plant species, or at least evidence that they've been here. And the best way to find evidence is with clues. A native plant is one that grows in your area naturally or wild. In other words, they'd be there even if there weren't any people there to plant them. A palm tree may be native in Hawaii, but certainly not in New York. Botany, the study of plants, is really just good detective work, following the clues. What kind of leaves or needles does the plant have? What kind of seeds? Is it a conifer, like a pine, or a broadleaf tree, like an oak? How are the leaves arranged on the stem? Oops. Well, that's just the woody plants. Then you've got your native flowers and native grasses, mosses. Anyway, unless you happen to have a botanical database in your head, a good way to learn about native plants in your area is to spend some time with a local plant expert at a community nature center or a science teacher at your school. Look for plant field guides in your library, and there's lots of information available online. So you can compare the size, shape, and color of plants you've gathered in order to identify their species. And speaking of gathering evidence, your Boy Scout handbook has other techniques like pressing and printing leaves. Look at all those plants. That's biodiversity. And that means when something happens to one of these species, it has a ripple effect that eventually reaches all the other species, even us. That's first class requirement six. Identify or show evidence of 10 native plants in your community.